You guys asked for it, so here it is, the LiPo Latte Panda Battery Build. Hey everyone, this is Project SPC. Today we're going to be building a LiPo battery pack for the Latte Panda Alpha. We'll go over the parts and tools you'll need, step-by-step -step build guide, and of course a test run. Now if you remember in a previous video, I actually made a 18650 battery pack with for the Latte Panda Alpha and it worked quite well. However, the batteries and the packs themselves were a little bit bulky. With these LiPo battery packs, we should be able to slim it down quite a bit. As a bit of advice and a disclaimer for this project before we get into the build, you need to have an understanding of how LiPo batteries and electricity works before you take this project on. LiPo batteries have a risk of catching fire. I understand those risks and I know how to mitigate them. If you undertake this project, you do so at your own risk. I am not responsible if you mishandle the LiPo batteries during the build of your own battery pack. So let's go over the parts we'll need for the build. First up is the 10-pin Molex panel mate connector. This is going to be one of the most difficult parts to find for the build. You can either steal it from an existing battery pack, like I did this from a Dell tablet battery, or you can build your own, like I did this one. If you're interested in doing that, I will leave a link to the parts you'll need in the description below. You're also going to need a balancer and protection PCB for a 2S pack. It's important to have the balancer function built in because of the LiPo's risk of catching fire if the batteries become imbalanced. We're going to need a 10K ohm negative thermal coefficient thermistor. Once again, to protect the LiPos should they thermally run away. We're going to need at least 24 gauge wire to carry the up to 3 amps the Latte Panda will take when charging. And some thinner wires for the thermistor. Lastly, I've got two 3.7 volt 5000 milliamp LiPo batteries. I chose this one specifically because of the size. Stacked. These are thinner than the Latte Panda Alpha is, so when I make a case for them, it will be a low profile case. Let's go over the tools we'll need to build this. Soldering iron and solder, wire cutters, pair of tweezers, some helping hands and a magnifying glass, infrared thermometer, and of course our digital multimeter for measuring the voltage. Before I go over the step-by-step -step guide, I did want to give you a high-level wiring diagram overview. We've got two LiPo batteries, and we've got this PCB here which has three battery points and the two charging lead cables. We have a 4.2 volt middle point, we have a 0 volt reference, and a 8.4 volt. So from battery 1, I've got the positive hooked up to the midpoint. And I have the negative hooked up to the zero volt point. On battery two over here, I've got the red positive hooked up to the 8.4 volt line and the negative paired with the positive from the other battery at the midpoint. I have the charging cables running from the positive and negative terminals here up to the connector. And lastly, I have the thermistor here which is tied to the neutral and it's tied to a middle sense line on the Latte Panda Alpha. So I've got the ends of my 24 gauge wire stripped and I've got them passing through the holes for the positive and negative charging leads. I'm going to flip this over and I'm going to solder them from the back side. Next I'm going to solder the midpoint I've got the negative and positive from each of the separate batteries together and I've twisted them. Now I'm going to thread them through the hole here. Next is the zero volt black wire. And the final wire, wire to solder is the positive 8.4 connection point. Now 
Now I'm going to solder my 28 gauge wire to the ends of the thermistor. And now it's time to solder the other wire to the thermistor. So I'm going to solder all those together. And the last little bit to solder is the um, thermistor line to the other end of the thermistor. Now that we've got everything assembled, we're going to check the voltages across the batteries and across both. Make sure to tape off all of your solder joints. We've got four volts on each of the batteries and then combined we should have about eight. And the final step of the build is to tape your thermistor to both battery packs, like so. Once you've verified your voltage, it's okay to plug it in your LiPo connector. When you go to place it on the board, the way that I like to remember it is keep voltage away from ICs. So you see this little IC here, I want to keep these red wires as far away as possible from there. Now before we can go using this battery pack on its own, we do have to activate the PCB here. In order to do that, we need to plug in the charger. Even if the batteries are already full, you do need to plug it in for a few seconds to activate the PCB. You'll see that it did actually recognize the battery pack here. I can now go ahead and unplug this. And we are on battery power. And just to show you guys that it does work, when you do a cold boot from just the battery pack, you do not get your initialization lights on. You do have to hit the power button in order for everything to start up. And there we go. And there you have it. That's how you build your own LiPo Latte Panda Alpha battery pack. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave those in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button, maybe even subscribe, and thanks for watching.